Hello all, uh, welcome to another video uh, for the channel. I'm going to work on uh, field of view settings today and talk to you guys a little bit about that. Um, I've been sim racing for about eight months now and I just use the defaults. Um, heard some stuff about field of view and how it can help but never really paid attention to it and then I, I signed up for... Um, the driver 61 training and uh, you know vision's a big thing as part of that training program and of course field of view came into it so i decided to have a play uh, did some research looked into it and yeah it, it's bonkers like if you're struggling with consistently um Staying on the track, hitting your apexes, um, your braking points, uh, the realization of speed, um, you know, or the, the perception of it, and things like it's all field of view, or at least a big part of it. Um, you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I call myself anti apex because I'm always missing them. Um, I could hook up one good lap, but I can't hook up an entire race the consistency is just not there um, and so i you know part of the driver 61 training i recently changed my field of view settings and wow like i'm hitting nearly every apex i mean i still miss the one too but it's gone the other way whereas before i was hitting two or three apexes a lap i'm now um, and missing the other 90%. Um, I'm now the other way around. Like I'm hitting 90% and uh, only missing, you know, a few because I've, you know, I broke myself or, or, or whatever. Um, and the perception and the feel also feels so much better. So what I thought I'd do is, you know, one, talk about my experiences, but also uh, kind of show you guys how I came about it. Um, it's actually relatively simple. There's a ton of videos out there and calculators for working out your field of view. iRacing has one built into it. Um, what is seen in the community is uh, is one of the best is uh, Dave Sampson. Um, he's a YouTuber. Um, done a ton of uh, work on. Um, on field of view and other aspects and um that's what i used and it worked well for me um i mean if i go uh just to quick kind of kind of show you right if i go here into my so these are my driving stats this is where i've been testing it um so here in this first section you kind of see here right um four days ago it was before i changed my field of view settings my lap time best lap time was a 102.7 um which is you know what i thought was okay for me and then i changed the settings and straight away after i changed the settings i was 700 attempts quicker in the next section so here you see um that i got a little bit quicker and uh, we're now doing 102 dead uh pretty much and then I carried on practicing and um, and so on and I managed to get my lap time down to 1.4 so over a second quicker and a big portion of that is you know the field of view settings um, learning the track obviously played a bit of a part in that because as you can see I did quite a few laps between the different um, sections but um, yeah I mean over a second gain um and i'm really putting that down or a big portion of that over a second quicker a lap um down to my field of view um so i want to get this out there and share it with you <laughs> so to do it what i did was i went to uh david sampson's calculator that he has i'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can see it um he really needs uh three measurements um just get a tape measure yeah 
Measure the width from one end of the screen to the other, including the plastic surround that goes around the outside of your monitor. Um, and that goes into your first calculation, um, which for me, I have written down on a notepad, is uh, 38 inches. Uh, if you've got a tape measure that measures it and anything else, you can you know, just use an online calculator to convert it to inches. Uh, distance from the, your eye, <laughs> so from your seat in position to the screen, um, try and get a, a natural feel where you would normally be sitting. Uh, you know, put your feet on the pedals, depending on how your setup is, your rig, if you're on a desk or whatever. I'm in a, I'm in a cockpit rig uh, in mine, so uh, I just kind of got comfortable and then just measured the distance from my eye to the screen, and that came out at 36 inches. Um, and then my bezel width. So I just uh, the bezel width is the plastic surround that goes around the outside of your monitor. Um, and I came up with a 0 0.5 right for that. That's really relatively small bezel, I uh, most are these days. And all you do is you hit calculate. When you do that, you're going to get this little screen come up. And here's my sizes. Now, these are the settings that I need to put into iRacing. Um, so, um, before we do that it's worth noting that if you are interested in knowing a lot more about field of view david has done a ton of work on this um i'm not going to steal his material um he has a good video at the bottom here i mean he outlines a lot of different settings camera there is a difference between camera settings and field of view settings as well so keep that in mind um But yeah, he's kind of gone through the different tips, how to move closer to your screens, closer you are, the better, you know, bigger screens, so on and so forth. But he has a good video at the bottom uh, that's worth watching. Um, I've watched it, helped me a lot. Um, he goes into some detail as to the different types of calculators out there and what he's found that's worked for him. Um, and he's obviously spent a lot of time researching this, knows his stuff, definitely worth a a watch if you're interested in knowing more um this video is just really about what i learned and you know getting us up and running so anyway back to our display settings so in here we've got now our eye racing we got our our eye racing settings um we've got um what we basically need to put into our boxes in eye racing uh so we've got to remember 38 37 36 yeah and our field of view when driving should be 55 degrees right so if i go to iRace i've got a test already loaded up so i'm in in my master um go to options now uh one thing to remember if you have this ticked it will not automatically transfer to your other cars okay uh it will only make the changes in the options to this particular car right so you'll need to remember that when you if you jump from the mazda into the lambo or whatever that you need to go and check these settings and just make sure they're in there so keep that in mind so we're in here and all we want to do is go to our option no graphics sorry go to our graphics tab and in the top right hand corner you can see monitor with bezel visible viewing distance and so on so if we go back to i racing if we minimize that you can see here oh if i can try and get them next to each other for you you can kind of see it a little bit better uh, shoot that down scroll down so as you can see right there's our four settings and there's our four settings all right so we just need to input this stuff uh into it so we got 38 37 36 and 30 uh, 55 so if we go here remove this by default for me it's in inches maybe something else for you guys again 
you know, either change it or use calculators. So, um, where are we? 38. Uh, where am I? So monitor width including bezel is 38. Monitor width including bezel is 38. Visible width including excluding bezel is 37. So 37. Bring it back up. Viewing distance is 36. Viewing distance is 36. And it came out at 54. Uh, but we want 55 so iRacing will automatically calculate it based on how it calculates uh, the field of view um, like I said you know Dave's done a ton of work on this and has found that you know there's his calculation to be more accurate than the iRacing one it's negligible I mean we're talking about one degree here uh, but you, you know what it's like, you know, with these things, uh, these software companies and stuff, they do one size fits all, uh, and maybe not as much analysis. So I kind of trust Dave a little bit. Um, and the results have spoken for itself, like I said. So there we have it. So uh, we've done that, and then we click done, and we get back into the car, and yeah, that's our view. So much better, so much easier. And it, is, it really has worked out well for me. I found that I'm using more of the track. Um, I was finding that I was having big gaps either side of the car uh, between me and the grass. So I wasn't using all the track um, to get the right angles coming into corners. Um, I was, you know, either being too far over or not far enough to the apexes to clip them. You know, riding the curbs as much as I can, um, and this was ultimately impacting my lap times. And I managed to, to knock a second off the lap time, so yeah, I was kind of really happy with that in the end. Um, and it really is that simple, you just got to remember that you need to, to do it for every single car if you have that box ticked. Um, so if I go back there, um, go into the options, uh, go into graphics, there's my settings under drive use custom controls for this car if that is ticked it will not carry over to other cars um, so we just need to kind of manually go through and uh, make sure that we uh, we change that um, for each of the cars that we drive if we use that that tick box um, like I said you know I I feel silly that I haven't done this sooner after eight months of, you know, struggling a little bit at, at points. Um, I, you know, this has made a big difference um, to my lap times, to my consistency already in such a short space of time. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to how that changes and how that improves. Like I said, I'll put a link to uh, Dave's calculator, David's calculator here. Uh, in the description below go and click that uh, any questions or comments or anything or if you need any help let me know I'm always happy to help uh, if I can uh, or if you have any kind of struggling or need clarification and hopefully you guys see the uh, uh, similar types of gains in your lap time uh, after you've done it let me know if you do uh, uh, once you've applied this do you see any improvement do you feel any improvement um, I feel I, not only did I get quicker, it felt better, like in the perception and the realism and, the, you know, the kind of um, gauging of the speed that you were going into corners. Um, definitely made it a little bit more realistic. So let me know down in the comments below if you uh, saw similar benefits when you've added this uh, to your experience. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Um, and that you get the benefit um, as always if you did please hit that like and uh, hopefully that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one appreciate it